All right, this is the sort of language that I really hate, because piracy is not stealing. Even the notion that piracy is stealing is a marketing technique. It is, as I said in the last video, an attempt to make people feel guilty and emotionally attached to a big corporation, and that drives profits. Stealing is the act of taking something from someone, removing it from them, and making it your own. Specifically, it's doing that without permission. Piracy, which by the way is a horrible term, it's another propaganda term, is not an act of theft. It is an act of copying. When you pirate a game, what you're doing is you're copying a game without permission. Same thing goes for a movie or a piece of music or anything like that. If you committed theft, you would be breaking property law. If you were ever charged for piracy, you would not be charged for breaking property law. You would be charged for breaking copyright law. Copyright. The right to copy. You brought up the example of stealing bread to feed your children, which, by the way, is super dramatic and unnecessary. But if you stole bread from a store, that store would have one less bread. When you copy something, the original is not destroyed, it's not taken. So it would be like you see bread in a store and you bake an exact copy of that bread. The store can still sell that bread, and they're not going to get money from you, and now you have the experience of eating bread. And the store would certainly rather have you spend money on bread, but you didn't, you just baked it yourself. If I stole your car, you would no longer have a car. If I copied your car, I would build a car from scratch that works and operates exactly like yours. In the end, I would have a car, and you would have a car. You wouldn't get any money from me, I did not purchase your car, but I also did not steal your car. Copying is not theft, period. It's not the same morally, and it's not the same legally. The law treats it different. It is a different law. And you might say, oh, well, it's still legal. Well, yeah, sure, but there's different severities to breaking laws. Jaywalking is illegal. Technically, recording any movie off TV with a DVR is illegal. Another matter of copyright. In Ohio, it's illegal for more than five women to live in a house. Blindly following the law is not necessarily good. In fact, not even the people who make the laws believe that. That's why laws come up for review. We examine why they were made and who they were serving. Now, don't get me wrong, no one needs to pirate a game, and it's not a morally superior act. But I wouldn't say buying a game is a morally superior act either, especially if you support a company that ends up having really shitty business practices. Like, if this is a question of how much harm you're doing, you might be doing real harm if you buy games from studios that force their developers to crunch. Or a studio like Blizzard that sexually harasses its workers and makes death threats to shut them up. Do your own research, but just know that purchasing is not automatically the morally correct thing to do.